So I'm here in D.C. Uh, at the Dr. Martin Luther King Memorial, uh, right along the mall on a beautiful cold day commemorating certainly one of our greatest Americans, one of the greatest Americans in our country's history. Yesterday, Julie and I had the privilege of attending the Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church for services there uh, in Anchorage. We love going there. Such a great community, such great spirit, the choir of uh, Mr. Hartwell and his team is, is just so much spirit, it's unbelievable. And then of course the leadership of uh, Pastor Parker, his wonderful w wife Mildred, friends of ours, friends of me and Julie, you know where his powerful sermons have insight, inspiration. Just yesterday his sermon talked about two words, use it. But of course in the sermon and the service at Shiloh and Anchorage yesterday was a lot about the legacy of this great American and you know in particular throughout the service and the sermon a couple clips of course the I have a dream speech I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character I have a dream today and then his um, very haunting speech that Dr. King gave in April of 1968, beautiful but haunting, uh, right before his murderous death, which uh, our country still mourns today. Um, I believe one of the great legacies of this great American, relevant today more than ever maybe, is he literally is the gold standard on the example of civility and respect and dignity in our political discourse, even during times of a lot of political strife, like in the late 1960s. I think that that is something we can all learn from. You know, one of his great speeches that he gave was the eulogy um, after the four girls and the uh, young school girls were killed in the Birmingham uh, bombing by the KKK in 1963 at their church. And if there, is ever, if there was ever a time where a political leader could have lashed out or had a reason to lash out at his political enemies and be angry and bitter, it was then. And yet, if you read that speech, even then, he was saying, we shouldn't do that. And so I stand here to say this afternoon to all assembled here that in spite of the darkness of this hour, we must not despair. We must not become bitter, nor must we harbor the desire to retaliate with violence. No, we must not lose faith in our white brothers. Somehow we must believe that the most misguided among them can learn to respect the dignity and the worth of all human personality. It's a remarkable speech that he gave uh, during what was obviously an incredibly trying time. So to the legacy of Dr. King today, um, we're, we're thinking about that very much right now, and um, I know a lot of Alaskans are as well. We've got some difficult days ahead, but it really doesn't matter with me now, because I've been to the mountaintop. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen 
the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory. Yeah.